Good morning, Twin Flames. Welcome to my channel. This is Uma coming to you on Wednesday, March 21st, which your daily Twin Flame reading. Come on in. Um, for those of you that are new to my channel, my name is Uma. I'm the owner of Lotus Wellness Center in Manassas, Virginia. I do private readings, healing sessions, consultations, as well as teach classes in psychic spiritual development. Uh, today, I am available for some readings because it is a snow day, so I am home. I'm not at the center with my clients. So if you'd like a 15-minute or 30-minute reading, definitely hit me up today. Um, I have a certain number of readings that will be available at regular price, which is 15 minutes is $26.25 and 30 minutes is $52.50. But once that number has been reached, and it's quickly being reached, um, it will go up into the off-site hours, emergency hours. All right? So without further ado, let's get this going. So timestampers, one minute exact. What is a Divine Masculine feeling today on Wednesday, March 21st? Here we go. We have, it is safe for you to love. And we've been getting this card a lot for the Divine Masculine, so I feel very happy about that because it tells me that he is really coming out to his Divine Feminine and allowing her to love him and to take care of him, and he's not feeling the need to put up defenses, so that's a good sign. So for the Twin Flame Masculines that are in union, if he's married or living or in relationship with his Divine Feminine, we have the Hermit card. So today he's either choosing to be alone or wanting to be alone, but it's not like he's pulling away out of anger or disappointment or sadness or anything like that. He's in a period of spiritual teaching and discovery. Um, I know for me, my twin flame is definitely alone because we are having a snow day. So he's snowed in, I'm snowed in, and everybody is in a good place. I think it's going to be a great day for spiritual teaching still, just watching this wonderful snow come down. So I can imagine that the other twin flame masculines that are in union are feeling the same way. They're learning a lot about themselves, about nature, about their relationship, and they're allowing the love to flow. Now for twin flame masculines that are separated and communicating to their divine feminine, we have three of water. That, ladies, or divine feminines, anyone with divine feminine energy, is the reunion card, the return of an ex. So he can very well be contemplating getting back into the relationship. He's feeling so full in his heart and so happy that he is ready to make some offer of commitment. Well, actually, it's not an offer just yet. He's feeling it, okay? The three of water, it's emotions. So emotionally, he's there. And for some of them, emotionally, they're there and they'll make the offer. For some of them, they're emotionally there and they don't make the offer. But it's a good sign because they're there. All right, and the Divine Masculines that are separated and not communicating to their Divine Feminine, we have Three of Fire. Now, I'm hearing that some Divine Masculines that are separated, not communicating, they are in a karmic relationship. So that it's safe for you to love and Three of Fire, they're feeling very happy in the relationship that they're in. And then for the others that are not so much entwined with a karmic relationship, but just separated from their Divine Feminine, um... He is feeling warm feelings towards his divine feminine, okay? Only you can know what that situation is. And the thing is, is um, I can't tell you because I'm doing a general reading for thousands of people. You know, if you want to know specifically to your situation, give me a call, email me. Let's get you a reading for yourself. What I do notice, though, interestingly enough, is we have three, three, and nine for the divine masculine. So he is definitely exhibiting that three energy today. And three energy in numerology is all about communication, creative expression, travel. So um, he is definitely entertaining the thought of communicating with his divine feminine or creatively expressing himself in the relationship, all right? Depending on who, where, what situation he is in, what wave he's in, definitely uh, we're seeing some interesting things. Okay, so timestamp, four minutes, 22 seconds in, 422. For Divine Feminines, what is the advice today from Spirit? Thank you. We have Healing Family Issues. Ooh, we haven't seen this in a while. So for Divine Feminines, this makes so much sense because as a Divine Feminine, I can tell you that I've been having some amazingly weird dreams. But And at first, I was feeling very fearful because they were all like about doom and gloom and it was about my relationship or my children or my business. 
But then today, just today, I had the realization that all of those dreams, no matter how crazy it got, it always ended well. It always ended well. So I do believe that on some level, I'm healing a lot of issues within myself. And I just wanted to mention that in case there's any divine feminine out there that's also going through the same thing, you know, that could be it. All right. So for divine feminines that are in union, night of water, that's the offer of love. So as you go through and heal yourself and heal your family issues, you're able to provide a deeper level of love to your divine masculine. So he's happy, you're happy, all right? So for divine feminines in union, you're able to love deeper and love stronger because you're healing a lot of stuff within yourself. Job well done. For divine feminines that are separated and communicating, you are struggling with control again. That four of earth card, okay? So you got to let go a little bit. You got to let go. The, the heal, you need to heal the family issues, right? Your love life benefits as you forgive your parents, but your love life benefits as you heal yourself. So for some of you, you're still exhibiting insecurity, low self-esteem, lack of confidence. Um, your divine masculine can't heal that for you. You have to heal that for yourself. So if you are not communicating well with him, you need to stop communicating with him for a little bit. Work on yourself so that you don't affect this relationship. All right? And finally, for the divine feminines that are separated and not communicating, things are picking up rapidly moving forward. So you guys are really healing yourself because you have no communication to your divine masculine. You can't blame him. You can't talk to him. You can't include him. You have to put the focus back on yourself, and that's what you're doing. So you're having rapid advancement as well um, because you are focusing on yourself and working through those family issues. Awesome. All right, timestamp me at 6 minutes 56 seconds in for divine masculine feminines in union. What is the energy of their relationship today? There we go. Queen of water. I was just going to say, I know it's positive because I'm a divine feminine in relationship. And I will tell you, it's quite positive. Queen of water. It says on their relationships developed to a new level, trusting your intuition, right? Um, caring for self and others. And that's exactly where me and my divine male are in. We are just, our relationship is blossoming. It's growing. We're in living in love and harmony and peace. And I'm pretty sure that other twin flames in union are experiencing the same thing. All right, because the queen of water, she's a very loving person, very empathic, tender, caring. Um, so I know that the twins in union are doing really well. Congratulations, guys. I know we fought very long and hard to get here, but we're here now and it's all good. Seven minutes, 55 seconds in, twin flames separated and communicating. What is the nature of your relationship today? What is the energy of your relationship today? We have 10 of fire, so the relationship itself is a little bit of a struggle, right? And it's not necessarily because of you both, because, um, you know, we have that the divine masculine had three of water and it's safe for you to love. So I feel that he's feeling the divine feminine. The divine feminine is the one with the control issues, insecurity issues, and whenever they talk, he really wants to be in that peace and harmony. He, his heart is there but she's giving him a little bit of a hard time. And it may not even be because of him. It might be just because she's stressed out um, at work or life is just stressing for her and she's kind of taking it out on him. So be mindful. Be aware of that. Don't take it out on your divine masculine because you can go to separated and not communicating. And you guys remember, that's not fun when you're away from your twin. All right. Timestamp, 8 minutes, 55 seconds in. Twin flames that are separated and not communicating. What is the advice for you? We have... Ace of water. So I think I brought that up about the divine masculine. He might be in relationship and he's happy where he's at. So for you that if you are watching this and you are the divine masculine or feminine that is separated, not communicating, the answer is clear. You have love coming in and it's new love and it's fresh love and it's an opportunity to open your heart. So sometimes we get the divine um, counterparts that feel loyal to their um, to their significant other. And even if their significant other is in a relationship, they still feel loyal to them and say, well, I don't want to date. But that's not how this works, okay? You're not meant to suffer. I, I, I don't understand this. When people be talking about how the twin flame journey, it's, 
terrible and suffer. Like, I don't understand it. That was not my experience of it. It was hard at times, maybe downright brutal at times, but it wasn't like a continuous period of suffering over 10, 12 years. No, mine was 10 months and that was that. So here's the thing. If there's love available to you, take it, jump on it. Okay. You have no idea. I did a reading recently for a woman who thought she was with her twin flame. Turns out it was a false twin. And then, um, cause I did 12 cards for her and that person, uh, asking about the relationship. I, I pulled none of my cards that validated a twin flame relationship for me. And then I just asked for one card. If she was to date somebody else, what, what would that be like? And you know what I got? I got the twin flame card. I got the twin flame card. I thought out of 78 cards, right? And 12 of them were used for her and her person. None of them were twin flame. And the one for if she moved on, it was twin flame. So for those of you that are having a hard go of it, really question yourself, question the universe and ask, is this my twin flame? And if it's not, you know, you might want to think about that. If it's not working, if it's struggle, if it's strife, you know, I read for this other person where it, it got so ugly and nasty, it went down to, um, you know, they, they were doing a, what do you call it? when you call the cops in and you put like um, restraining orders in. I mean, guys, it's not that serious, all right? I know we feel sometimes like love is that serious. No, it's not that serious. Um, if somebody doesn't wanna be with you, don't be with them, plain and simple. So I'm sorry, I got, I'll get off my soapbox now, all right? I'll get off my soapbox now because I don't need to be advising anybody in anything. I'm just a reader. So I will pull an Archangel Oracle card so they can get on their soapbox and give all of us um, advice about today. What would they like us to focus on today? And we have, ooh, passion. Archangel Haniel says, trust and follow your renewed passion in your love life and career. So for those of you that are in union or you're separated and communicating and things are working, focus on it, keep it central. Um, and for everyone, always focus on your career. You know, if you really are in a twin flame relationship, it's not about the love, it's not about the relationship, it's about humanity. So if you know you and your twin are working together to help humanity, you know that you're, you know, building houses with Habitat for Humanity or like my twin and I, we own wellness centers where we teach and help people in their spiritual developments. If you're doing things of that nature, yeah, you're in a twin flame relationship. But if it's just a twin flame relationship because it's up, down, all around, runner, chaser, um, heartache and glory, you might be in a false twin in a karmic relationship or just, may I say it, an unhealthy relationship and you want to double check that. All right, guys, I'd be happy to talk to you more if you want to contact me for a session. Sometimes people just contact me um, and book me for 15 minutes to talk or a half an hour just to talk and I'm okay with that. I'm not an expert by any means. I'm just a twin flame feminine in a twin flame relationship. And I own a wellness center where I teach classes in psychic spiritual development. So I've been doing this for a while. I have a little bit of an idea on it. But as you guys probably know, everyone has their own idea about what this twin flame journey is. All right. So that's it for today. If you're in the Northeast, enjoy the snow day. And if you're not, wherever you are, enjoy the beautiful weather because life goes on and we just have to keep looking up. All right, guys, that's it for now. Bye. And I will see you tomorrow.